Wonder Woman. Now, when it comes to superheroes in the DC Universe, it seemed like Batman and Superman were the only ones that DC relied on for many years. And after three movies in the DC Cinematic Universe where the opinions have ranged from just okay to downright horrible, it seemed like this would be the last chance for DC to make a good movie. Well, let me tell you this. Wonder Woman is not only the best movie of the DC Cinematic Universe, it's, in my opinion, one of the best DC movies ever since The Dark Knight. But why don't I tell you why I feel that way? Our story is about Diana, the princess of an island called Themyscira, which is populated by only women, and where they, they learn to be strong warriors. After training herself to near physical perfection, Diana happens to to get involved in World War I when a American fighter pilot crash lands near the island and she saves him. After he tells the Amazons about the war to end all wars, World War I, she feels it necessary to go into this war in an attempt to establish peace and in, an, and in an attempt to do what the Amazons were meant to do from the beginning, to protect mankind and to create peace among all, all men. And that's all I'm going to say about the story without spoiling anything. What did I like about this movie? Well, unlike a lot of the DC movies beforehand, this is a very colorful, very inspiring, and very self-contained film. Instead of feeling like one piece in the puzzle, even though it clearly is one when it comes to this universe, it feels the, the most like a standalone story, as it tells an excellent origin tale for Wonder Woman. From her... From her time as a child, to her training, to her first real mission in man's world, this film does a great job with its story, and it's paced pretty well throughout. Not only that, but the acting throughout is absolutely stellar. You might think that a story about immortal women and the realistic setting of World War I would be a little absurd, but these performances help make this story work, especially Gal Gadot, who's absolutely amazing as Wonder Woman. You might like her from the comics, but her performance here will make you absolutely love her character. Her naivety mixed in with her courage and her willingness to do right by herself and by the people around her really makes her a very likable character. Also, Chris Pine is excellent as Steve Trevor. He's a snarky comic relief as well as a moral centerpiece. So it makes him a lot more than just the love interest for Wonder Woman. And the, and the film does a good job showing each of their strengths and each of their weaknesses. There are other characters throughout as well, such as Robin Wright as Antiope, and Connie Nielsen as Themyscira. And there, are of, of course, are several other soldiers in the war, both in the German side and the American side, but the film doesn't focus on them nearly as much as our main leads, but that's totally fine. Another thing that I absolutely loved about this film is the action sequences. They're shot incredibly well, and Wonder Woman's fighting style really fits her character. She hits like a freaking truck and dashes around like a jet. Mixing in strength, speed, and agility, that really lets you know that she's an absolute powerhouse when she's allowed to go out and do her own thing. But even the scenes without action are pretty well done, as the dialogue, unlike the other DC movies, actually feels like dialogue that normal human beings would speak. And, yeah, there's a lot of positives to talk about this movie. If I only had a couple of negatives, I'd say that the second act does drag a little bit, where it feels like the first act is an incredible beginning that does a good job with Wonder Woman's origins, and the ending is an absolute fireworks show of, of awesome action. But the second act drags a tiny little bit, and it gets a little boring. But I can easily look past that. Also, the only other criticism I have is that the main villains of the film, I'm not going to spoil who they are, but the main villains are pretty weak. They get limited screen time, and they're really only there to give Wonder Woman someone to fight that's on her level. You could say they're similar to the Phase 1 Marvel villains, in that since the story focuses so much on the hero, the villains are sort of just obstacles for them to go through and not interesting characters in their own right. But hey, if they have to borrow a few ideas from Marvel, I'm glad it was the right ones, and I'm glad that this movie is still good on, on its own merits. 
So, with excellent action sequences, a colorful palette that's pleasing to the eyes, excellent performances, and a great origin story, I give Wonder Woman a 9 out of 10. It's definitely something that Diana herself would be proud of. See you later.